since we are currently having a pandemic of unvaccinated people, any pregnant woman who is unvaccinated is significantly more vulnerable to complications should she get COVID-19. Coronavirus infections for pregnant women are on the rise tonight. New guidance from DHEC and the CDC urging those who are pregnant or breastfeeding to get vaccinated as soon as possible. The CDC says the vaccine does not increase the chances of a miscarriage. Now tonight, doctors say that the virus could cause severe illness in pregnant women who are unvaccinated and does appear to cause increased risk of miscarriage and stillbirth. Tonight, our Alicia Niaves talked with two Midlands moms who got their shots while pregnant. We found out we were expecting in February, so I was a few months into the pregnancy at the time of me receiving the vaccine. Allison Glenn, an educator in Orangeburg County, became fully vaccinated in April. The 37-year-old is expecting her fourth baby in November. When it came time for me to decide whether or not I wanted the vaccine, to me it was a no-brainer because I've seen what COVID can do to a person. She says in October 2020, she lost her father from complications due to COVID-19 and witnessed other loved ones suffer from the virus. So without hesitation, she got vaccinated. Her only side effect was fatigue. To be able to give the benefits of that vaccine to not only me, but the antibodies to my unborn child, so that when she or he is born, they are already fighting, you know, what is out there. Following the vaccine, she helped the CDC by answering questions through their V-Safe health checker, reporting any side effects or anything out of the ordinary. She says she feels perfectly healthy. You want to do what's best for you, and you also want to do what's best for your baby. So like I tell everyone, do your own research. Um, get the information for yourself. Speak with your medical provider. I did get the Pfizer vaccine. So Krista Henson of Lexington County was 29 weeks pregnant for her first dose in March. I felt an unexpected sense of relief when I got the first shot of, okay, I'm going to be okay. My baby's going to be okay. Henson works in the healthcare field. Before she got vaccinated, she says she talked with her doctor and other healthcare professionals for guidance. I had a daughter three years ago who came a month early, and that put me at a higher risk already for another preterm labor situation. And then just assessing the risk and the risk of not getting vaccinated versus the risks of getting vaccinated. Um, and for me, getting vaccinated carried very little risk with a lot of reward, a lot of potential benefit. Krista is also answering questions for the CDC about her experience. Her only side effect to report a sore arm. I realized this is a way I can not only protect myself, I am my community, but also my unborn child. Her baby is now three months old. He's perfect, healthy. Um, grow, they grow up so fast. Alicia Niavis, News 19 WLTX.